So that's it, guys. She is gone. Gone, gone. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, the Camaro is gone, bro. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Q. You know, back, back, back. We know the video. Thank y'all for kicking it with your boy Q. Today, guys, y'all saw the last clip on the last video. I might put that same clip at the beginning of this video if y'all did see it. Yeah, the Camaro's gone, man. The Camaro is sold. That's right, I sold it to Carvana. <laughs> you probably wondering, why the heck you sold it to Carvana, Q? Hey, I'm talking about that and why I decided to ultimately sell the Camaro. So, here we go. I'm probably just gonna stand here in the garage and talk about this as I reminisce about the Camaro being right here, you know? Like literally, it's right here. Brielle's happy because she got the full garage back to herself once again for the time being. That don't mean that I'm just saying one day we'll have something else. But why I sold the car to Carvana because honestly, just being real with y'all, they were the ones to give me the best offer for the car. I shopped the car around to a lot of different places. No one was getting even where near close to what I wanted for the car. The dealership I bought it from, bro, came back at like $36,000 with a car. I'm like, what? No way. Took it to CarMax, y'all saw it was $35,000. So that just wasn't gonna do. So then I started listening to privately on Facebook and stuff like that. And then you're dealing with Facebook, just dealing with a uh, private sale with people. People get flaky. You have to meet for them and arrange to buy the car. Then they want to negotiate. And even some of the prices I was getting on Facebook Marketplace, people like, I'll give you 36 for it, 38 for it. And dealing with private, you probably can get a lot more for your car dealing with a private sale but dealing with Carvana a company is just easier I think that's the thing it's easier I did all the paperwork online they were, were, were originally gonna come pick the car up but uh, as y'all saw I drove it there because they had two drivers call out so I had to drive the car there you drive the car there they do the paperwork they literally just walk around look at it the guy who actually helped me out his name was Will he's a Mustang owner so he had a few words you know just talking crap about the Camaro but he was like oh my god it's a beautiful car bro I see why you don't want to sell it so yeah they just walked around looked at it uh and he's like, yeah, man, you're good to go. And that was it. And they cut you a check. So, yeah, that's why I decided to sell it to Carvana. It was the easiest one. They gave me the most money for the car. Now, I did take a loss on the car, guys. I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't put any money down. And you don't put any money down, any money down, you do run the risk of getting upside down on a loan. I do know that. I did buy the car at a time where the rates were good, but used cars kind of being overvalued at that point. So it is what it is. I took a loss. No big deal. Nothing crazy. I'm just going to get that all squared away and then move on. Now. Why did I decide to sell the Camaro, guys? There's a few reasons. There's never just one thing. Let's talk finances. Finance is always a thing in it, right? So as y'all know, I was using my YouTube income as well as any other income from social media I made to pay for the car. I did a whole video about it. I put a car right there if you want to go back and watch it. It's almost been a year since I owned the car. My YouTube check wasn't enough to pay for the payment one time. I'm just being honest with y'all. Uh, it wasn't about a lot. And that's because I took like two or three weeks off in January. So other than that, I was able to pay for the car every month on time. No issues at all. However, the car payment, the insurance and like gas alone took up the majority of the social media income for the car. So it didn't leave me any extra money to do like anything to the car, like any mods or anything like that. And the second thing was the car was still under warranty. It was a three year, like 30,000 mile warranty on the car. It was coming up on year three for it. Basically what I ran into was how long can I keep the car here without doing mods to it before it started producing income on additional income on YouTube. And I'll be honest with y'all, when I bought the car, I was hoping it was gonna take the channel, push it to the next level and go up a little bit, but it didn't happen. It kind of stayed even kill. It, it was a new audience and I get that. So you have to find time to bring that new audience in because I'm mostly a, a truck channel, you know, in motorcycles. So car was a new audience, but actually going back and looking at some of the views, the car did pretty well on the channel, to be honest with you, I was for a new product, a new thing on the channel, it did good. But yeah, I just it just didn't have any extra income to do anything to the car to buy the car and if you know anything about modern cars this is my first time owning a sports car bro it's expensive like i i thought trucks were expensive cars are expensive like i was looking at exhaust like of course it was like three four thousand dollars headers are like fifteen sixteen hundred that's just for the parts that include labor yes i could afford the payments and everything on the car but any additional things like that i was just like um maybe right now is not the time to do it and i just want to educate y'all on that process make sure you can afford everything when you're getting into something that's just something to take away from this video if you haven't taken away anything so that really was the ultimate decision like for the channel business wide is it producing enough income to keep it around without doing any 
be mods to it for the time being and potentially wait it out and see if it's gonna produce income. But it was just a risk. I didn't I didn't really feel comfortable with it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and cut my losses right now and then we'll just start over. The second thing is I find myself being very unfocused trying to manage the truck and the Camaro. I, when I say unfocused, just from a YouTube standpoint and like trying to get everything aligned, I was just like all over the place. I couldn't just like focus on one thing. And I realized that now, being a smaller YouTube channel, from what I'm experiencing and learning here, it's like my what, fourth, fifth year on YouTube, unless you're like, doing it pretty big on YouTube, you make a lot, a lot of income or you have another supplemental form of income to pay for some of this stuff, it's easier just to focus on one thing, one build, one thing, which is what I did at the truck and it was very successful. Focuses on one thing is gonna take you a lot further than, I ain't gonna say a lot further, when you're starting out, just being known for one thing and even just as far as like niching down one niche, like whether you be known for trucks or motorcycles or cars, starting just that one thing until you get to that level to where you can now start bringing in additional things where it's not a strain or you're not worried about finances, then you do that. But I think I may be be honest with y'all, I'm being real. Y'all know me, I'm real as I can be. I probably jumped into the car stuff too early. I probably should have kept going with trucks, trucks, trucks until I get to that point. That's my thing, that's why I realized. Just trying to stick to one thing and it's just gonna help you focus more. You can focus more. Like when I was on the truck, it was all truck stuff. I knew what I wanted and that's how the build came along the way it did. But you know, having a truck in the car and then y'all know me, I get into motorcycle stuff too. I was just like all over the place. I was just like, I could not focus on one thing. I didn't like that. Like my mind was just, okay, the truck need this. Okay, the car need this. And then, you know, riding motorcycles on the weekend, which is cool, I don't own one right now. So it's just it's just gonna be easier to focus on one thing. Now, I told y'all when I posted on my poll, like 80% of y'all said to sell the car. I told y'all I got an offer. A lot of y'all said to sell it. So I, I did say I'm not gonna have anything new coming anytime soon. I have no idea what I'm gonna do next. I like zero idea. Like, so don't even ask me what's next, sell red do this it's not happening like red i almost done paying for red i've been could debate this for real though red has like a what, year or so left year and a half or something like that i like just pay for this truck bro i can just I almost done with this truck pay for it it's gonna be mine it's still a good looking truck and probably be not even a hundred thousand miles on it you know so anyway but i have no idea what's happening next so don't ask me because I don't know. But of course me, I like shopping for cars. So I'm always gonna be shop, car shopping, truck shopping. I'm always just looking just to see, you know? And you never know what might come along. And the last thing guys, the last thing I probably have to say, this is kind of crazy. I had already gotten used to the power of the car. It's a fun car, don't get me wrong. It's so much fun. Like y'all saw the video and I just went and dropped it off how much fun I was having with the car. But I had gotten used to the power already. Like I, me and Brielle went out last weekend and uh, I was driving the car. I hope my lips weren't white that whole time I was talking, bro. Anyway, I was driving a car and I did like a first and second gear pull. And I'm just like, mm, that's it? Like the car ain't got more, you know? Like, give me some more. I had kind of gotten used to the power already, which is kind of crazy. But it makes sense, me coming from motorcycles, y'all know a car and a motorcycle, unless a car is more like a 1,000, 1,200 horsepower, no car is gonna keep up with a motorcycle. You know, I'm talking about like a 1,000 cc, not a 600. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I got used to the power very quickly. What that did tell me was, if I ever get a car again, it got to be something like 650. So it either gotta be like a Z01, a Hellcat, Z06, I just gotta have that power, you know? That's just me, I just need that power, so. But it gave me a good platform, a good base to start at, so I'm not mad at it. But yeah, to sum the video up, guys, looking back at this whole thing, the last nine months, eight months I owned the car, I don't regret it one bit, oh my God. Like, that was my first time buying a sports car. It was the most expensive car I ever bought, and showing myself that I can prove that I could do it. Coming from nothing, basically, you know, coming from a scooter, sleeping in the weight room, not having anything, coming from that to, you know, where we are today. I'm like proud of myself that I proved to myself that once you set your mind to something, you can do it, bro. And I did it. I even taught myself how to drive a freaking manual. I had no experience driving a manual car and taught myself how to do it. So there's always a lot of positive to take away from any situation. One thing I always say, I, I don't really believe in failures. Either you succeed or you learn. And when I say that, either you're gonna succeed in something or it, it may not work out, but you learn something from it. Take something away from it. Don't just say, oh, I failed, it sucked. No, 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 no. Take something away. There's always something you can take away. Even in your successes, there's something you can take away. So I definitely took away a lot. Those things I just mentioned to y'all, 
definitely was some homework I got to do for myself if I want to keep going with this YouTube stuff. Don't jump into it too early. Make sure you're ready for it. But for me right now, just focus on one thing. Focus on one build. Don't try to do multiple until you get to the point to where you can have maybe yourself and somebody else helping you do it. Like, don't just try to do it all on your own. And just a bunch of takeaways. You saw, I'm not disappointed at all. I enjoyed the car. It was a blast. Hopefully it goes to a good home. And then I found out if I do get a car, I need more power. Like, I need more power for sure. Camaro is gone, man. What y'all think about it? Comment below what you think. Reds, you know, we'll know. I actually got to figure out some stuff for Red. I'm still losing coolant. Maybe it's the water pump. So I think I want to just go ahead and replace the water pump and see if that's going to fix it because it's at the point now where water pump tends to go on these trucks, mileage-wise. So maybe that's what it is. It's not a lot of coolant, but I'm just having to replace coolant and I'm just curious why. There's never anything on the ground uh, right now, as y'all can see anyway. So I want to make sure Red is up and running flawlessly no mechanical issues right i've been talking about 24 by 14s i do want to see what it looks like on the truck but we'll see uh we'll see we'll see i'm, I'm not uh rushing to do that right now because now i'm back to one vehicle and also your boy got to go into the office now i'm back in the office three days a week i have moved 45 minutes from the office i was a lot closer than i used to be so now that's a drive so i need to make sure the truck is running appropriately if i'm going to be driving it 45 minutes one way to work every day, you know? Anyway, I'm just rambling now. That's all I got. It's your boy Q. Thank y'all for coming kicking in with me. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Sorry the Camaro's gone. For y'all Camaro people who came on for the Camaro stuff, I apologize. Don't don't stop though. Like my channel, bro, anything a motor, my channel's almost related to. It's either trucks, cars, or motorcycles. I'm gonna be around one of the three, I promise you. I might just not be driving one at the moment, but I'm gonna be around it. So don't leave, trust me. And then one day, if y'all keep coming rocking with your boy, we go get there, I promise you. But anyway, that's all I got. It's your boy Q. I'll catch y'all next, baby. Peace.